Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Art of the Soul. God's not done, God's not done. You're really so focused on the future. You're so anxious in your present that you don't really get to enjoy it because you're comparing yourself to others where theirs might be a finished book and yours might just be in the draft stages. It's a process, it takes time and God's not done with you. So just be patient. I know at times it can be very difficult because it seems like nowhere around you is success. There is no, there is nothing which contemplates success. Nothing around you which even shows a glimpse of success in the future. And that can be heartbreaking, honestly, because you keep on trying, you keep on trying. And every single time that you do try, you just keep on falling back to the same places that you was at at the beginning and it just seems like a constant cycle of restarting and it just never seems to end well <laughs> that's the whole purpose of it is that it's not supposed to end because it's a continuous progress of you evolving that's what god wants from you i mean you're the one that wants the money you're, you're the one that wants the success you're the one the one that's just the wins right now but God doesn't want you to just win because winning is just shallow for him. He wants you to actually evolve and grow as a person. That's why he keeps on rewriting your stories. And every single time you put a draft out there and every single time you keep on including different characters that shouldn't have been in there in the first place, then he has to rewrite the script again. And that's where it prolongs it. And sometimes we bring it upon ourselves that we do the things that isn't really beneficial for us. Like hanging around with people that isn't conducive to our success. Picking paths that leads us further away from our goals. And when we do those things, our story gets prolonged because God has to redirect us again so imagine this is God's plan. He has a path for you straight. And that should just be, let's say, a 10 year plan. But what you do instead is that because you met this person and you went and hang around with the wrong people and then you started picking up vices, every single one of those adds a certain year to your story. So instead of that 10 year plan, it becomes you meet this bad person you don't get rid of him or it misguides you in your life for two years so that's 12 years now and then you pick up a vice and that vice puts you in the wrong direction for five years <laughs> the 17 years added to that initial 10 years now it's prolonged now it may take you another five years to get back to that original plan in order to achieve that goal or the end goal that god had planned for you and that's 22 years altogether. You see, whereas if we just trusted God and we just stayed patient, and if we were just patient enough, then we wouldn't have had to endure 22 years of suffering. It's like we sentence ourselves to 12 extra years of suffering, whereas the struggle originally would have just been 10 years. And that's what I mean by the story that we have. That's why it seems like it is daunting because it keeps on going, is that we keep on adding certain things that shouldn't have been there in the first place. So it's crucial to just stick to God's plan because he knows best. He knows that at the end of this, when he makes a plan, they will benefit you. That it's the best plan possibly for you in the shortest time in order to develop the best version of you. Now, we always say that everything happens for a reason. Yes, that's true. And God's plan will always prevail. That is also true. But you see, we have free will. And even though God has a plan for you, like I said, that 10 year plan, the enemy also has a different plan for you. And when the enemy plans something for you, it's not the best. It always is to take away from you. God's plan is to add something to you, whereas the enemy's plan is to take things away from you taking time away from you is the enemy's plan because when he takes that time away from you 
that means there's time taken away from your talents or your dreams or your goals and your purpose and when you don't fulfill your purpose then there's a light that is taken away from the world because God's purpose for you will always benefit the world it's always there to help the world to make it a better place he instills light everywhere across the world and in people's lives but sometimes those lights get dimmed and that's the enemy's plan when I say that God's not done with you yet just be patient because no matter how far you may steer off and, and that's just human nature you know we steer off sometimes you fall off in the wrong paths and you know we stumble and that's just that's why you just gotta be patient with yourself sometimes we do stumble but you have to acknowledge that find your way back home so to speak you have to crawl back up to God's plan to the original path which is beneficial for you because you can keep on trying different paths and you know what I don't know if God's plan is the best and then you try different paths and that's okay but eventually you will find out that the best plan for you lies on the path that God, that God had originally planned for you God is patient he's kind he will wait for you but you see the time is always moving and even though God waits for you sometimes certain opportunities won't be there for you anymore I know it can seem frustrating where you just you keep on trying you've done everything right but things just isn't going to plan you also have to understand that you're looking for the rainbow whilst you're still in the storm the rainbow is at the end but most people don't really recognize that because all they want is the finished product but you see God doesn't just want the finished product we want that but what God wants is to mold us to become a better person and when we become better people that's the goal that's his treasure you you yourself us you know us becoming the better versions of ourselves that's his pleasure that's what he loves for us to be in better positions than we were before to be saved he finds great joy in helping us whereas we're, we can be so impatient sometimes and we just look for hey I want, I want success now I want this now and then we get so caught up when bad things happen to us setbacks you know and the, the struggle and then we just we never really get to enjoy it and there was actually this famous um internet star that recently said that like when he was in the struggle he used to hate it he used to just rush things and like i can't wait to be successful he worked so hard and he tried to just get that stage of his life that process done as quickly as possible so that he won't have to struggle anymore but now that he's got everything now he's successful he actually said that he missed those times because he didn't really realize until later on it was those times that he was actually true to himself and he was actually the best version of himself because he had to be on point in order to to grind and that's what the struggle does the struggle sharpens us iron sharpens iron it's like when the going gets tough the tough gets going and that's when we're at our best and the struggle when the pressure's coming down on you, that's when you really gotta tighten up and put your A game on. That's what most people don't really understand. That the struggle isn't meant to break you, it's meant to make you. That's what you just have to be patient with. And that know that in the end, the story will be told. And once it's written, it will be a happy ending. Because every ending is happy if you let the author of your fate and the creator of your destiny write your story it's already there it's already written you just have to follow the plan and the plan will always benefit you it's not to compromise on your dreams it's to make them come to fruition it is the enemy which sets you apart from your dreams and discourages you do you know why? because God doesn't give you a spirit of discouragement 
of fear. He gives you the spirit of courage and love and strength. Never forget that. Never forget that. So whenever you feel despondent or discouraged in anything you, you do and you feel so disheartened, know that that isn't God's plan. When you're feeling disheartened, know that that ain't God's plan. He never wanted to discourage you. If it's sometimes this, if it's sometimes, if it's sometimes directs you in a different path, it's different than discouragement. It never discourages you. Only the enemy does that. What God does is that he offers different plans. He offers different paths. Gives you a change of heart, but he never discourages it. Look, just be patient in your journey and enjoy it. I used to think when I was younger, um, I can achieve things if I just work hard, if I just grind, put my head down. <laughs> I can achieve things. But you see, it's not just about arriving at a destination. It's about the journey that you make. The stories you tell along the way. That's what life is about. And God wants you to have a great story, a great life. That sometimes we forget because we're so... When we're in such a rush to get to where we're going, then when we get there, we don't even want to be there anymore. And we miss the places we've been because we never really got to appreciate them in the moment. So make sure you take every step carefully and enjoy those moments, the ups and the downs. It's all part of your story. And in the end, the story is all we have of life. That's the only thing we have. So cherish them and make yours a great one. And remember, it takes time. And if you don't take time, time will take you. So be patient. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you like this. Subscribe and follow for more. This is Rudolfo III and this is Art of the Soul. Thank you.